With the upcoming deadline for condominium owners in Florida looming, people are wondering what they're going to possibly do to avoid a catastrophic collapse in the condo market. Now, Ron DeSantis says that he has some plans here, but we're going to dive into what that is. Can we possibly save this condo collapse that is sort of the perfect storm, if you will? So how did we get here? Well, in 2021, the Champlain Towers and the East East coast of Florida had collapsed and that was a devastating, awful scenario. And actually we did a, an in-depth video on that, which I'm going to link to right here. Now in that particular video, we go over some of the things that are required of homeowners to avoid this tragedy in the future. And I say homeowners, but condo owners is what we're really referring to. And so all the condominium buildings that are over 30 years old and over three stories are required to get certain inspections done to make sure that the structural components, the structural integrity of the building is in order. Now, those inspections are very costly, and that cost is a burden of that condominium building, the condo association, and therefore the condo owners. And on top of that, they have to have, make any necessary repairs or have a plan in place to make those necessary repairs by December 31st, 2024. And on top of that, they have to properly fund their reserves. In the past, you could have just voted as an association to say, hey, we need less than our legally required threshold for condominium association reserves. But now that is no longer the case. You cannot vote to have a, a minimum or a lower than minimum threshold on the reserves. This has created an incredible burden for the condo associations, an incredible burden for the condominium owners. And so we are seeing scenarios, and by the way, those inspections can be 20, 30 plus thousand dollars, depending on how big the building is. And then on top of that, now we have rising insurance costs that are creating even more problems for the association owners. And you find people who are in scenarios where they are on fixed income. Maybe Maybe they purchased that condo 20 years ago and they're living in it. They pay their association dues like they should be. They have no mortgage on the property and all of a sudden they're getting hit with these huge assessments and these extremely increased association dues and they can no longer afford that. So what are their options? I mean, they can take out a loan against the property. They can attempt to sell the property. But right now what we're seeing is we're seeing a rise in inventory because people are trying to get rid of them and what is that do to prices that makes them go down. So Governor DeSantis understands and acknowledges that this is a problem and that there's a tremendous burden that has been put on condominium associations. When you look at the coastlines of Florida, what are they? The beaches are full of condominiums and the majority of them are over that 30 year threshold because that's was it is the most prestigious, best real estate in the state. And so that's where the condominiums are. That's where we get the high density types of projects like condominium buildings. And so therefore, we just have a major issue that needs to be addressed. All that DeSantis has done at this point is he has said that they will be meeting about this. They will be taking action to help relieve some of the condominium owners. It's raised more questions than it's created answers because he wants to get something done before the 2025 legislative session, but there's no clear guideline on when this is going to happen. And so what does that relief look like? It looks like the possibility that they may extend some of those deadlines lines. There also may be the opportunity to have some low interest loans from the state of Florida to help these condominium associations avoid bankruptcy, avoid scenarios where the owners have to fire sale their property. At the end of the day, the state does not want that to happen, but at the same time, they want to make sure that people are safe. We can't have a major catastrophe like we did and a huge loss of life. So I understand why it's in place. It's just an unfortunate fortunate set of circumstances that got us here. And now the resolution is causing a significant amount of financial stress for a lot of people. So if 
you are looking for a condo, let's say you're potentially looking for a condo, there may be a pretty good opportunity where we have motivated sellers looking to get out from underneath that situation. Now, you will also know by this time, this has been, this has been proposed and been going on for a long time at this stage, so the association is aware of what all of the assessments are. A lot of times the assessments have already been levied to the condo owners, but the increased association dues is something that will be an ongoing commitment. So you, if you are interested in purchasing a condo, should have an awareness. There, I would, I would make sure to get the condominium minutes from their board meetings. I would make sure to get all the financials. We want to make sure that the reserves are, are funded appropriately. I would get that inspection report to make sure there's no major issues underlying with the building. And then, you know, you can purchase a condo. The same lifestyle is still going to be there. We just want you to be aware of the realities of any potential obligations, any potential liabilities that that condominium association has. So let me know, do you think that this is an opportunity to potentially seize in the condominium market or would you not touch a condo with a 10 foot pole? And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you have a blessed day. Thank you.